Eh, eh, give that, give that. Eh, game the map by me now. Game the map by me now. Oh my God, yes. Your girl had the wedding to attend, and it was <clears throat> lit. hi guys welcome back to my channel so for this tutorial i'll be using the eco styling gel got to be gel then man brush open seat brush a tail comb needle and thread elastic band a scarf an expression braiding hair in color 1b i also used um some pebbles and rabbit stones and a glue but those will be shown later starting with the hair extension i used the entire pack of hair for my bun i just separated it like this so it will stretch a bit and the ends won't be sharp then i brushed it and put it aside going into my hair i already washed and moisturized my hair so i went into detangling like i just mean combing then began the gelling process i went in with gel directly because i needed this hair to dry fast but if your hair is very dry and hard you may need to spray water first and apply leave-in conditioner i'd recommend the can too then before applying the gel but my hair is actually very soft and light so i could get away with just the gel this is not a complicated process as you can see i'm just patting the hair in bits applying gel and brushing through with an open tip brush i just repeated the process all through the hair That my hair is forming curls already from just using the gel this could be a wash and go trick though but anyways that's not the focus for this that's not the focus for today after the hair has touched all like the whole of my hair I went in with a big open tit comb to bring the hair together. Brushing, brushing, brushing till everywhere was nice and flat. Doubling my elastic band, I just remembered that I had not taken out my baby hairs. So I'm just doing that now. Cause you're my sweet escape, my remedy, I... For a stronger hold, I had to go in with my got to be ultra glued gel on the surface of the hair. These products were used generously, like generously. Because I, I really wanted I really wanted this hair to stay in place for me for more than a week. Still using the got to be gel, I placed the bits behind my palm, then started putting in them baby hairs. This one wanted to embarrass me, Sha. Hmm. But I don't do very dramatic baby hairs. Let the, I just like them to let them just be there and be visible. But too much drama. Mm -mm.
I still have my double elastic band wrapped around my fingers so I use that to tie my hair in a bun and I stretched the hair from the, from the bun like from the center of the bun to tighten the grip using some hair extension I had by the side now this one was different from the um, hair I used for my for my pony I just divided it into two places then divided each piece into it so using the feeding method I placed it each each piece of hair hey, each piece of hair extension into my hair one at a time then we did it yeah oh yeah making plans holding hands running wild for a while yeah oh yeah so let's not stop here baby we've been lost here lately Now this is coming together very nicely. Can you guys see? <laughs> Treading my needle, I doubled the thread so it would be stronger and then I got sewing. The goal here was just to make um to make what would I call this? I think I'll call it the tail. To make this tail a strong enough to like um strong enough to hold my um the hair extension i was going to wrap around it so that was the essence of doubling like having two tails and then i sewing it together and all of that yeah when i got the when i when it got to the height i wanted my notes to be at i bent the extra hair and sewed it in place guys this tail was too high for my ponyo <laughs> I had to actually bend the tip again before attaching the hair extension it just was too high and that's the beauty of this hairstyle so you can make it into whatever length you want i actually even left a clip of um another where i carried this hair the week after i did this hairstyle it was and at that one the um the bone was lower than this one that i'm doing right now i was very confused as to how to tie this scarf but i eventually found a way I had to bring in an additional scarf to um, hold down parts of my hair that the first scarf couldn't reach. Going back into my already stretched attachment or hair extension, it's the same thing. I twisted it to the end. I actually redid this twist because I wanted it to have a tighter look. So. Here's how it looked after I redid it though. Five hours later, I was super late at this point for the wedding I was going to attend. But yeah, I just said, let me just quickly, rushingly finish this video. So if you guys notice here, the tip of this hair is thicker than um, what it was when I first showed you guys when I was sewing. That's because I told you guys that this tail was too long for me so i had to bend that tip to shorten it but it still gave me the same look it wasn't even obvious at all so yeah if you want a shorter tail maybe you made you sewed in something too long just bend it and re -sew and trust me it won't be obvious just have enough hair extension to cover the whole of the tail and it won't even show at all but yeah i just attached an elastic band at the beginning of the hair extension and i used it to hold on to the tip of the braided tail then i wrapped the hair extension around the braided tail till it covered the entire circumference then i used my hands to align the top knot the top knot bone well yes we can now call it a top knot bone because it has gone from a work in progress to finished products you guys please take note of the picture i left by the side of the pack of this view um it's called Falali glue and I used it to place the stones in between my baby hairs. Because if you find this glue, like, don't use it for your eyes because it can actually cause an injury. Also, 
when you're at the end of the day when you're taking a shower or whatever please don't yank off these stones because it could act like don't don't take them off forcefully because that glue it has like the hold is so strong that could actually take off your um your skin or if you place it on your hair it can actually go off with your hair so just allow it allow it to just fall off in their own time um that's why i left a picture of what the packet looks like so you can actually recognize it if you come across it because i want you all to be safe you know so guess what family members we're done with this tutorial but am i the only one feeling like this makeup is giving all there is to give like damn girl you're fine mm. so this is a clip of the other time i told you guys i rocked the hairstyle and i made it shorter it was just it was the same process the same thing just that i bent the tail and sewed it together made it shorter before attaching the hair extension so that brings us to the end of this tutorial thanks for watching till this point i hope you enjoyed all i had to dish out here you can ask me any questions in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer all please don't leave without subscribing and if you're new here welcome please like comment share and i'll see you all in my next one with so much love in my heart bye yeah oh yeah making plans holding hands running wild